Hi, I'm Tim Lines of the Kansas City Bastards, and it's time for another edition of... Hey, Jeff, how's it going? Hey, what are you doing out. here, man? What is Look, that? Well, uh, you know how the investors are telling us that, you know, if, if we're going to do, like, a political rant, that uh, it would approach, be able to approach more people if, uh, if it was clean. And, uh, you know, I, I understand that, you know, that asking a clean tech of you is just, I mean, you know, we're not right, even going right, to right. try to ride that pony. So I decided to take a, you know, mechanical approach, and uh, I took my base effects processor and, and did a little improvisational circuitry that I yeah. added onto it. Anyhow, anything that you say that doesn't pass the filter, yeah. this replaces it with a G-rated word. What do you call the thing? I call it Cleaniac. Nice. Well, let's... Go ahead and try it out. All right, all right. I mean, let me plug it I'm in. Game. Uh, it'll I mean, take just a second for these, uh, you know, these <laughs> communist uh, vacuum tubes to warm up. Uh, okay, she's fired up. Give her your best shot. Oh, he's one of my personal favorites. Um, Yippee ki yay, Mr. Falcon. Hey, that was you good. got anything less northeastern? Uh, okay. Okay, uh, try that. One. Try that. One. Okay. Uncle Bill. Okay, less southern. Less southern. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, there's some. Yeah. Well, let's see if that works. It is beet eating melon firmly. Yeah. Okay, something on this firmly continent. Yeah, yeah, let's give that a shot. Okay, um. Dim witted muckraker. Okay, dude, that's a chick's voice. Yeah. Uh. Is that not cool? Because, um. Well, the, uh. The knob broke off. Well, in the words of Bill O'Reilly... Puppies. So we'll do it this way. Huh? Let's try this again. I'm Tim Lines of the Kansas City... Misters. And it's time for another edition of... Flag This Manhole. It's time for another in a long list of Violin. lawyers that want to rule the world. Today's Cross encrusted icebox. Chris Kobach, a Kansas law professor and current candidate for Secretary of State. For all those unfamiliar, he also co authored the now infamous Arizona immigration bill and is a birther, a dumb sack of rapes that raises questions publicly about President Obama's nation of origin. In this case, the idiot says that while he will accept the fact that Obama is a natural born citizen until a court proves otherwise, any questions are legitimate until the administration provides more proof. To get the lesser point out of the way, Seriously? Aside from the Obama crew digitally scanning the form, high-resolution photographs have been taken of the birth certificate. Scans of the newspaper article announcing his birth are available online. Even the argument about short-form versus long-form birth certificates, the only thing to cling to at this point is moot because, as it turns out, there's no such distinction. As it is from every filing birth certificate in the state of Hawaii at this point. They went paperless in 2001. Continuing to raise questions about it would only be admirable if there was even the slightest snacking point in doing so, and there isn't. Now on to the larger point. I'm not saying I disagree with the spirit or intent of the Arizona immigration law, or even with the letter. Truth be told, I've got to rely on analysts. I haven't read the thing line by line to decide, and it's none of my Goodman. business to do so. I live in Kansas, not era Texas, Zona. Likewise with Kobach. So what in the large mouth, twinkle toe, puppy kicking, brunch, is he doing writing Arizona jumping state law when he's a gold mine, Kansas state farming, politician, which is another thing. Secretary of State is basically a bookkeeping job, keeping track of voter records, business records, and that sort of thing. It's not a sexy gig by any means. Of course, Kobach has said that he wants to transform the model to more of a law enforcement official, either because he's a shifty bookkeeper that nearly tanked the entire GOP in Kansas, or because he wants to combat all of the voter fraud that just runs rampant in the state. Take a guess which. The only sense that I can extract from this Aristotle. is that he legitimately gets off on overstepping his bounds, sapping tax dollars as a result of being both manufacturer and quality control, and neglecting his responsibilities in Kansas to pursue his foolhardy crusades elsewhere, which makes him a great flanky candidate for public office. So what's the result of the Arizona law? Oh, right. Now there's a half dozen lawsuits against the state of Arizona. That's okay, though. Chris Kobach is there to defend his bad wording and impossible enforcement criteria at a cost of $300 per hour. And here's the thing. It's not like he's not well-educated. It's just too bad that having an Ivy League education does not exempt one from being a falcon. Moron. If anything, it just makes it more insidious because he knows exactly what he's doing. Not only do I hope he doesn't win, I hope he does something so incredibly boneheaded that it gets him perma-banned from politics. After all, he exemplifies a slim, puppy-kicking, blunt, face, man-eater, a real hellbent, mentally impotent piece of crap-stained crud, a shit stain on the fabric of society. Fuck you, Chris Kobach. Fuck you very much. 
So that does it for me for now. I'm Tim Lyons, and until next time, don't be a dick, be a nice guy. Yeah, clean the X-Bag. <laughs>